Today we're gonna be talking about the best targeting method for Facebook ads in 2019. It's four layers and you need to know about it. All right, let's do it. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I like to cover all kinds of things that you can do to build a seven figure, eight figure business that you can take with you anywhere in a backpack. Today we're gonna to be talking about the four layers that you need to be using in your Facebook ad targeting. And to do that, no messing around, we're gonna jump behind a computer right now and I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to be doing in the Facebook ad editor with the targeting so that you can lock in on people that want to buy. All right, let's jump behind a computer, let's go do it. Okay, so here we are in the ad editor. We've already selected an objective. It doesn't matter the objective on this one in particular. We're focused on targeting. So what we're gonna do is we wanna go down here to the audience section and you can look here on the side, it's ad set. Pretty soon that's gonna probably change around a little bit because that's what Facebook likes to do. But for right now, the targeting lives here in the ad set section. Now, what we're going to be doing here is we're gonna be focusing on four layers of targeting. Those four layers are location, demographics, interest targeting, and what we call buyer intent targeting, okay? So how this is gonna come together is we're gonna stack four things together to target really, really well. The first two to three things are going to be pretty basic. That last one that I'm gonna show you is the big one on top of these. And I'm gonna show you sort of how when I do ad variations, how I do that in this four layer targeting. Okay, so the first thing is, is we go through here. Now, if you're using a custom audience, you can do that, but we're gonna go pretty much from scratch here. So the first thing is location. So I am just assuming that this particular ad, I'm looking for people in the United States, and I'm actually going to be looking for people between, let's say the ages of 25 and 35. So I'm looking for people between 25 and 35 with this particular product, and of course, you got to know who your ideal audience is before you actually go do this part, but we'll get into all that at some point. And let's just say I want to target just females between 25 and 35. Okay, so the next thing is, is let's say that I have a product that is really aimed at this particular group of people. Now I've got my location down, United States. I've got 25 to 35 females. Right now we're sitting at a targeting range of about 34 million people. So what we're gonna do here is I've got both my location and my initial demographic targeting. Now we wanna get into our detailed, more interest-based targeting. So what I'm gonna do is for this particular audience, I'm gonna type in women's health, okay? So women's health, and we're actually looking for the magazine. So what we've done now is we've said we only want to target people that are 25 to 35 females in the United States who are also you know, into this particular magazine. So we've started to actually narrow our audience down. Now we're down to about 1.5 million people. Now the next thing that we wanna do, that's three layers. The fourth layer, we wanna get into what we call some buyer intent targeting, meaning we wanna go after people that have done something in the past uh, week on Facebook that labels them as more of a likely buyer. So we're gonna go over here to narrow audience. And from narrow audience, this is going to be people that must also match this. So all of this stuff up here, but they must also match this final criteria, layer four in our four layers of targeting. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to type in engaged, engaged shoppers. So we're looking for engaged shoppers. So what this is going to do is it's going to target all of the three interests that we had above, all of the three you know main targeting options, but now they've got to be engaged shoppers. Now what this means is this. This is people who have clicked on a call to action button, shop now in the past week. Meaning if they saw a Facebook ad and they had a shop now button on it, meaning they saw you know a pair of shoes, they saw a, a, a shirt, you know male, female, doesn't matter. They saw something that they could go out and shop for and they clicked the shop now button that was on that particular ad. So engaged shoppers. Now what this is gonna do is it takes our 1.5 million and it takes it down to about a million people now. So now now with the four layers, what we have is this. We've got our location data, people that live in the United States. We've got our demographic data, which is women 25 to 35. We've got an interest. They're interested in Women's Health Magazine. So they've shown an interest to that. 
that's narrowed them further. And then finally, we've gone in and we've narrowed further by clicking the narrow further button and we've used a buyer intent queue in the targeting for engaged shoppers. This is people that have clicked on the engaged shopper setup. Now what we've got now is we've got a very defined group of people. You can probably get an idea of what in your life someone that looks like this particular set of targeting plus we've stacked in that these are the kind of people that are probably shopping through Facebook. So that's how you do it. You stack those four things together. Real quick tutorial there with just about any interest that you're going after with your first three things, you stack this last one on top of it and you're going to find more buyers very quickly. All right, so I hope those four layers make a lot of sense. We've got location, we've got demographics, we've got interest targeting, which is sort of what I use, as I said, when I'm burying up my audiences. That's the X factor that we change around a lot to do different audiences. And then finally, we have that very special buyer intent targeting that we use there at the end that I showed you that go use it right now and it's gonna help you out a ton. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. That's going to let you in on all the cool things that we're covering inside every video that we do when it's more stuff just like this. And if you wanna be alerted when we come out with a new video, make sure you hit the bell notification. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I got more great stuff coming to you very, very soon. I'll talk with you on the next vid.